Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. So today we're going to be taking a look at Ethereum system speed up. So obviously it says in the name what this program does. It's a meant to speed up your computer. So rediscover what a fast smooth running PC feels like now complete with a one click privacy cleaner. So here they reckon they can get your computer 38% faster booting time and longer battery life if you're running on a laptop and extra disk space. Okay, so this is going to be interesting to see if they can actually do this. Um, so I suppose let's jump in and have a little look. I don't have the pro version on my computer. Um, obviously I've only got a free version, but it's still going to give us a rough idea of what Ethereum is like, um, boost program. So let's just meet, uh, minimize that now for a second. So let's go to the top. So this is your main screen on Ethereum free system speed up. So if we click on the down arrow here, we can scan for frag fragmented files. So obviously a defrag. We've got more options here, which takes us down to the settings. But for now, we're just going to... I don't want to create a system restore. So we're just going to run a little scan. Let, let's see what this actually detects on my computer. So obviously they've locked quite a few features as you can see straight away, SSD maintenance, full optimization. They're only included in the pro version. So I can't I don't really know what that would be like at the minute unless Ethereum do give me a product key so I can trial out the pro version. But maybe in another tutorial we will do that. So it's just scanning my computer at the minute and by the looks of things it's only actually doing what um, CCleaner would be doing right now which is scanning for junk files, registry errors and privacy data. So yeah it's cool but yeah so it's detected a few things there like a few programs and so on. And privacy data. Okay, so it's got a web browser and all that. So this part is basically a cleanup section for your computer. So let's just stop that for a minute. And here we've got registry errors. So bearing in mind, only mess around with registry cleanups if you know what you're doing. So now let's go on to the actual boot optimizer. So here the optimizer can reduce the time your device takes to boot. So let's reckon 65 seconds my computer has taken to boot. So I'm just going to deselect that for a second. So yeah, let's just go on to analyze quickly and let's see what happens. OK, so here we go. So C cleaner monitoring during boot so basically that's saying that ccleaner boots up with my computer so we could actually disable that if we want it or remove it permanently but you need the pro version to do that so let's just scroll down a little bit here's everything and i've been meaning to disable that for a while or delete that that's uh, another tutorial that I did. <laughs> Nick just keeps playing music all the time. But yeah, so here's everything that we could disable. But to be honest, you could actually quite simply go on to your start menu, go MS Config, MS Config. Actually, I'm running Windows 10, so you need to do it in your Task Manager anyway. But if you're on Windows 7, you'd do it like that. Go on to Task Manager, and we can disable everything there. So it that doesn't really make any difference. So what happens if we press next? OK, so that should optimize all that for us. So there we go. OK, so that's optimized. So what have we got next? We've got our power modes. So to do energy saver or power boost, you need to have the pro version. 
so that's annoying um high performance okay but we can do that in control panel again we can simply go into control panel and change our windows mode to high performance or battery saver so that's not doing anything for us either and i can show you how to do that click on search windows again and type in power and we're going to go on to choose a power plan and here you have your options so you've got balance high performance or power saver so that's all that's doing there as you can see and we've got our tools here so find duplicates um, disk management drivers okay so it's pretty cool but to be honest i've not seen nothing there that would help your computer really speed up so a fear of free system speed up is a waste of time so i wouldn't recommend downloading it or installing it um yeah it's it's a waste of time but yeah so i hope this tutorial did help and or review i suppose this is more of a review um if it did hit that like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials